What I'm about to show you is genuinely one of the scariest things I've ever seen. And it's all thanks to new technology that seems straight out of a sci-fi nightmare. What we're talking about today is a real threat to personal privacy that can easily affect you. Let's dive in. But before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Josh, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or cloud pro fast. So, let me tell you about this wild story I stumbled upon. It's called Find Satoshi, and it's basically a digital treasure hunt that captivated the internet. The challenge was simple but intriguing. They provided just a picture of this mysterious guy and said, find him. So here's the backstory. This all kicked off in July 2006 as part of an alternate reality game called Perplex City, which was packed with different puzzles. One puzzle featured this guy, and all it said was, my name is Satoshi. That's it. No clues about who he is or where he might be. Just a name and a photo to work with. Like, how can you track down a man with his first name and a photograph with no context? Sounds like some serial cop killer thriller, right? But the miracle happened, not instantly, of course, but after a long, long time. Many people tried, but no one was able to track down Satoshi. And then someone leveraged some impressive open source intelligence and managed to track him down to a tiny little town in France. Imagine that. A bunch of internet sleuths piecing together clues until someone actually showed up with a photo in front of the same building he was spotted at. Super cool, right? You could see how the background had changed, but the thrill of the chase was what made it exciting. Now, I was digging deeper into this whole saga, and I found out that a Reddit user in December 2020 actually used AI facial recognition technology with a tool called PimEyes to help identify Satoshi. When this Reddit user posted the given image of Satoshi on the PimEyes tool, they discovered a photo of a man casually holding a beer, and that was the breakthrough moment. From there, they did some more digging. Finally, they found out where he worked and even reached out to him via email. Can you believe it? After 15 years of mystery, AI facial recognition cracked the case. So, naturally, I was like, what in the world is this PimEyes? I've always relied on regular reverse image searches through Google, Yandex, and Bing. I had never heard of PimEyes before. So I hopped on over to PimEyes.com. You can actually use it for free, 10 searches a day, which is pretty generous. PimEyes isn't your run-of-the-mill reverse image search tool. It uses advanced facial recognition technology that scans the internet for matches. You upload a photo, and it looks for faces that resemble the one you provided. This tool is designed to find your face, even if it's been altered or is in a completely different context. That's the cool part. But here's where it gets a bit unsettling. On the upside, PimEyes can be a fantastic tool for monitoring copyright infringement. For artists or photographers, it's a way to track where your images might be misused online. Plus, it helps you reclaim your online identity, giving you the chance to find old images and take action against unwanted exposure. But this is not enough to overlook the darker side of this technology. Now, let's get real for a second. The flip side of this powerful tool is the potential invasion of privacy. Sure, it can help you find your face online, but what if someone uses it to upload your picture without your consent? Imagine you're trying to maintain a low profile for personal reasons, but one simple upload, and bam! Your life can be traced back to that one moment. Or maybe you're just out grabbing coffee, and someone captures your photo and uses it for who knows what. It raises a lot of red flags about personal safety and digital security. The scariest part? This can lead to social engineering attacks, where someone gains access to your life by pretending they know you because, well, with this tool, they do know an alarming amount about you. In fact, a video I watched showed how easy it was for someone to approach a stranger, call them by their first and last name, and even reference where they used to work, all based on data pulled through these AI systems. The person on the receiving end had no idea that this wasn't a friendly face they once met. It's one thing for someone to casually find you on social media, but it's another when this is happening instantly and in real life through nothing more than a glance. No conversation, no exchange, 
just a face in the crowd. And before you start panicking, there is a silver lining. You can opt out of many of these facial databases. The process usually involves uploading your photo and verifying your identity to request removal. It's ironic that you have to upload a picture to get yourself out, but it's better than being a target. But this raises an even bigger question. As AI advances and becomes more integrated into our everyday tech, how do we protect our privacy? At what point does convenience cross the line into invasion? With tools like PimEyes, our personal information is becoming easier to access than ever before. Sure, some of this tech can be useful for good, but in the wrong hands, it can be incredibly dangerous too. So, what can you do? First, be aware of where your data is stored online and who has access to it. Next, take steps to remove your data from these databases if you can. Finally, stay informed because as technology evolves, so do the risks. Privacy in the digital age isn't just about keeping your passwords safe. It's about understanding how much of your life is visible to anyone with the right tools. And trust me, the scariest part of all this? These tools are already here. If this freaks you out as much as it did me, hit that like button and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay safe out there, and remember, the future is here, but it's up to us to protect our privacy in it. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.